Welcome to the channel from DC's multi-universe Supergirl Injustice page puncher comic book included and from Gotham Knights Nightwing Currently this Nightwing is on sale for $6 doesn't mean you can go there if you already previously purchased it and, I, and say, hey, this is what this price is because I had paid full price for it and now it's on clearance. It don't work like that, okay? You already done paid your purchase. You already paid for that. Okay, now this, this is for 2024 of the day of this day. Today, okay? You're day late, Abner. Dollar short, Abner. Okay? So if you didn't catch up on this deal, don't try to go over there to Walmart and think you're going to weasel dick your way into getting your money back and then getting the figure for $6, okay? Because that's not going to happen. I'll tell you why it's not going to happen. Because I bought the last figure. That's why. That's right. I bought this right here for $6. The DC multi-universe, multiverse, Gotham Wing, Gotham Wing, Night Wing, Night, night, night Gotham Night Wing, okay? Shoot. I don't know what you guys what you, what you guys expect, but there's a serial number right there on the bottom. Toy photography of the toy in the back. With the line right here. That that DC, this one right here, this one that says uh uh Wonder Woman designed by Todd McFlair. Yeah, so that's the one I'm going for. So, you know, that that is who I'm incorporating with my uh superwoman. Superwoman, um, Flash, also known as the Kryptonian Crypt, in the year 24, 2024, 57.85. So, like, when she got abandoned by the Flash, because she ended up defeating General Zod, and you get to watch the Smackdown happen over here live on my animation, but I'm going to tell you how. And she spits a little, and it explodes his head, and she rips off his arm, and then she just types in the the the, the little the little telecommunicator to the to the world ender machine, and then boom, saves the world. Now this is a continuous story on what happens next. So yeah, so anyways, I, I was going out looking, uh, yeah, I seen the Donna Troy going on for twenty four. 95. I seen the build a figure of uh, Raven, which I was kind of wanting to go for, but I was like, well, you know what? I need the Superwoman, need the Supergirl, because that's part of why I kind of collect DC or started to collect DC was through Superwoman, Super Superwoman Flash from the Flash movies. Out of all the years of them making DC, other than when I was a child, and I, and and I'd get other characters other than Batman because you know I figured Batman should have be like the speeding bullet version where it's a mixture of like when Superman goes into Gotham pretty much he wears his own Batman get up and flies around and you know has a little face shield to cover his face while he's protecting the city while Batman's out there fucking you know moving the stocks and bonds and being in debt because that's what Bruce Wayne, that's why you never see Bruce Wayne and Batman in the same spot. Because, one, Bruce Wayne can't afford to be in the same presence as Batman. That's right. And then, two, it's Batman. You think he's going to be walking around in the middle of the daylight with sunscreen on? I'm like, yeah, fear me, I'm fucking the Dark Knight. No, he's going to be out there in the shadows lurking like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Popping up right out there. Stopping crime. Everybody's going to be like, oh shit. And you know what? Ninjas. Because that's what Batman was and is. He's a ninja. You over here, you guys got him, around, got him running around like he don't know 127 forms of martial arts, okay? You, you DC, you understand where I'm coming from or am I going to have to just draw it out for you and then show you what Batman really is, okay? Bruce Wayne himself is a superhuman. When he puts on his Batman outfit, he deems himself not a superhuman. 
I don't know. Dude reverse like that. It's crazy. But either way, so how in the hell are you gonna have a figure like Batman who knows 127 different forms of martial arts gun toting around like a common thug? Seriously. No disrespect to Ben Affleck's Batman. That's pretty much the best portrayal I've seen other than when Michael Keaton came in and did his little Houdini act where he was fucking throwing bombs at the guy while, while he couldn't even get out of his own spaceship, out of his own, out of, out of his own airplane, okay? What kind of genius are you if you can't even have a fail safe to a fail safe of your fail safe when you got your fucking door jammed you can even bust out the window are you seriously what happened to to shooting your grappling gun <laughs> firing up busting out that fucking window and then just flying right out seriously you guys did that whoever did that movie god damn you i need my time back okay you time stealers <clears throat> but at the same time, I'm still thankful that I was at least being able to be introduced to this Supergirl Flash, who now I just created a whole universe for her where she has this uh, squadron called the Meta Palt Squadron. That's right, because of, of the blood, you know, because they're like meta human, and then they have metal paws because paws means you're alive, and then they have a squadron making up of various individuals who she meets in this world that we live in on earth called uh, or in the year uh, 2024 5785 so you know she's she's meeting uh superhuman people who I call metal pops squadron um and she learns her magical abilities because you know what I gave her magic powers and you can't take that from her you see you can't take that from my superwoman flash so now look at look at she got this right here she got a little cap yeah turn this on right here so I gave her more than just physical strength and flight you know what I mean I gave her I gave her personality you know look at this with this hat look at that with it, with it, with this, with this, with her, with her gloved hand on, with the remote controller, signifying that she's still, uh, like us, she's a gamer, and you can be any age, because you can, how are you gonna try saying that, oh, well, you can only be a certain age, but yet you're at the casino playing on the slot machine, and the slot machine has animation, and the animation you're drawn to, because you're in your own cartoon, trying to get money from it, so don't try to tell me the limitations of animation, my man, understand? Cause I'd already done put, I put generations into place right fucking now. But anyhow, before we get to the unboxing, because this is an unboxing of both of these here DC uh, collectibles that I've never really had the opportunity because I'm always working, and by the time I get there, most of the DC stuff is sold out. So I was able to at least be able to pick up. The page puncher uh, Superwoman to do my own kind of comparison, which we'll probably do on screen right here. While I, while I pick out like uh, you know cloths and caves and kind of accentuate going away from this plastic prison into a more fabric esque aesthetic, where I'll blend in the fabrics with the plastics, where it's not just going to be just nicely sculpted and molded plastic cape. And capable of any direction but down so like I won't be able to have her cape go sideways I won't be able to have her cape go up because it's attached and glued in to her back which is understandable but if you're paying for a figure that is uh, like around twenty dollars per se and I'm gonna use Princess of Power Shira, for example which was only like twenty one dollars, and she came with a cloth cape, a sword, two alternate heads, two alternate capes, a shield, four sets of hands, 
So you can't tell me that the price range and the different things that you can accentuate to give your character a little bit more in depth other than a pair of hands without any special effects or in some cases just the character themselves. Which, you know, I appreciate the uh, the alternate hands that you can give her. So, you know, she comes with four sets of hands, but that's it. And much like, I feel like, much like this Superwoman Flash, the Kryptonian Crypt, uh, Coral Zarel, who is learning her magical abilities, and who else to learn than other than John Wick Constantine. So we're gonna meet up with Constantine and I'm gonna look for, uh, I might have to use the Donna Troy for a Zella figure, or I hope not, but you know, cause I, I, I like the Donna Troy figure itself because I wanna be like, introduce uh, Jonathan Kent to Supergirl Flash here and then being hell, she's like, oh, where's Clark? And then she sees Jonathan Kent, and then she's like, well, damn, dude, this this guy, you know, had, he, you know has on the cape. Or not really the cape, he doesn't have the cape, so he just has uh, just just the, the onesie, you know, fighting crime, looking all adorable and shit. So we're gonna, you know, tweak that up. You know, no no love relationship or anything like that, but she just kind of, kind of, you know, she's, she's, she's a badass soldier who's already lived on another planet and went through war with different planets, has her own individual uh, species of animals which she travels with that are companions that was with her with their space pod, you know, because she was old enough to pack up her own stuff, put in things that she wanted, you know, whether it's electronics, technology, plants, animals, magic book spells, knowledge from Kryptonia, other than the AI computers, which, you know, Superman had found in the Fortress of Solitude. And he's like, oh, and then he didn't really take on the grasp and didn't really dig into his heritage. He was just like, oh, a man. And he's like, what do you mean? I get powered up by the sun like a fly. And he's been flying ever since. I mean, Jesus. You, you know, I don't know. He just, you know, that that's just my own thing of Superman. But I know it might be ratting and raving a little bit, but who gives a damn? It's the truth and it's facts. And these are my facts and my truth. What's your truth? So, alright, so we're gonna go ahead and dive into our, uh, um, Nightwing from Gotham, Gotham Knights. This is, uh, you know, what I has able to get, the last one that was on sale for six dollars. So, I got lucky, I did. So and I'm happy about it because otherwise I probably would have just one. But since this was on clearance, I was like, you know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I, I, uh, the very first DC person I ever got was as I show you Supergirl Flash. So this is like a nice added addition into the the, the uh, universe I'm building, which it will include a Captain Carrot. And, you know, I got a couple bad guys in mind for her, but I'm just trying to see what um, else is out there. I don't really feel like her fighting Darkseid would be anything special because that's like Superman's thing and the Justice League's thing, you know. And she's her own individual in this world that we have that's an alternate universe in which she survived and got abandoned in. So she don't know about any superheroes other than herself right now and other than the Flash that left her behind. So right here is what the uh, Nightwing looks like. I don't even know if this is Dick Garrison or if this is the uh, Dick Gate Grayson or um... Damian Wayne, it could be either, I don't know, I don't know. 
we're gonna go ahead and just take a look at, at, at our uh, Nightwing right here. And then uh, take him out of his package here and kind of just kind of see what makes Nightwing and Nightwing. He looks like he got uh, some regular smegler old sneakers. And uh, you figure if you had Batman on your squad, wouldn't he be hooking you, you up with some inventions? Or are you just like only like selfish and thinks about himself? Like, yeah, well, uh, you know, I'm Batman. These are my gadgets. That makes me who I am. And, and for me to feel like you know, uh, I'm Batman, I, I can't have anybody use my technology other than myself because, you know, it's copyright protected, dude, by Batman. You know what I'm saying? So you guys get these little garage outfits you guys build and design yourselves to go fight crime while I show up in my multi-dollar fucking vehicles and just destroy right in front of you guys and then roll away on roller skates. That are still more expensive than your entire T wardrobe that you got on. Because I'm Batman. I don't think being super rich is a power. I think that's just natural. You know what I mean? That's just a natural element. So, meanwhile, the whole world's walking around like Batman, but there's only one Batman. Isn't that funny? <laughs> uh. So here we are taking them out. We're gonna uh, see. Oh, so he got these back coasters, which will slide in one of his electric taser uh, night bow staff slash maybe grappling hook or something. I don't know what these things are that he got outside, but maybe they're batons, and that's it. But how are you gonna fight crime with just batons? That don't make sense. There's nothing special, that you got any electricity come out of these? Is it shoot out anything? Or are these just what they issue at you at the police academy that you decided to just paint and then just go out there and fight crime? <laughs> I don't know about these guys. I don't know. I'm just curious about this universe as I kind of just Check it out, you know. I know it's it's it, well, I, I, you know, it's uh, it's not like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Universe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe, and it's not like the Masters of the Uni Masters of the Universe universe. But there's a cross collaboration with all three universes existing in, in the same universe, believe it or not. So we got we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles who who live in the Masters of the Universe universe, and then we got the uh, the masters of the universe who live in the DC universe. So we got like these three subsidiary universes residing within the DC universe. So that's uh, how I got into the point where I'm at now where you'll see the masters of the universe and DC universe with uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. With, uh, with a little bit different animations in there such as the Dog Stalkers, you know. And some Naruto and Bruce Lee. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. So we're, we're in a mixture of three different universes. And our uh, Nightwing can hit a T-pose. Does it rather well. He's got full range mo mo uh, mobility. He got ball pegs. So now look at we got him doing this like he's about ready to just dive right off. Um, we got maybe perhaps a range of uh, side leg of of his legs going sideways so that we can go ahead and give a mid range to a long range kick upwards, which is really great because if you have a person such as this person called Nightwing. His main powers is going to be his athletic prowess, which is acrobatics, because that's the main thing of what he uses to fight crime, is uh, parkour along with his martial arts. So that's his uh, billet, his special powers is speed, reflex, agility, 
along with intellect and, uh, I guess, uh, accuracy. If I were to classify him in, in a category, that's where he would be classified as, as far as a, a Metapult squadron goes. Which means he passes and can become a member of the Metapult squadron. So, um, taking a look at, at, at him as a package, so yes, he does have full range, emotion, well, come right on in, mama. Doing a big review, everybody, say hello to my mama. Hi. So, she, she, uh, you know, she comes out with me, she helps me decide what to get, and we look for prices together. Um, goes on purple drive clear, so this I might, might use right here that she had just given me, that she had just found. Is going to be for making the diorama displays, uh, such as the portable diorama that I got. As I kind of look at the camera for a second to get a piece to show you. So, like this right here is part of the foam board, and then that's where I would glue either. You know, like a, a rug or, uh, you know, not really a rug, but, you know, uh, a miniature furniture piece onto it. But I, I wouldn't just glue it directly. Uh, there would be a print on there, such as a brick pattern or something. But that's what that's, that's there for. And uh, for those who are just viewing in to the channel, this is right here. We're reviewing the DC Multiverse, designed by McFarland Toys. Um, collection, and uh, we just opened up our uh, Nightwing. Just give him a check and see. Uh, he has probably about 22 points of articulation. Okay, so yeah, he does, he does have uh, 22 points of articulation. And and for the most part, he does look like Nightwing himself. I don't know if he has his beauty mark or if, that's, if, if that was like intentional, I don't know. But as you can see, mine kind of came with this little beauty mark right here that was... It's on his face, and then over here, you got kind of like this little, little uh, mustache growing in right here, which looks pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and set him off to the side next to our Metal Pulse Squadron leader, which is going to be our Sasha Tao, Supergirl Flash. As we open up our uh, Injustice Page Puncher Supergirl. So, but this right here is going to be Power Woman. So we're going to open up our Injustice Power Woman, you know, Supergirl, but in my reality that I'm making, this right here is Power Woman. As she is Super, Super Woman. This one was $24.50 out the door. A steal. If you were to look for this online, this is going to cost you anywhere between $40 and $200. For this specific DC Direct McFarland's Toys of Injustice um, Superwoman. So uh, we're going to do an unboxing review and we're going to read the comic. If we have enough time. Depends on how much uh, storage space I got on my uh, phone here. So we're going to open this up as we have just opened it, using a box cutter right here. <clears throat> so coming fresh out of the package, for our being the pleasure, and for us wandering through the open door of curiosity to see what this is exactly. We have a, a soft paged DC comic with uh, a stand inside. Oh, hold on, it's packaged. It's, it's packaged, but 
for the safety sake of the comic itself, let's 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 think about the comic. Okay, yes, we got the plastic, but is the comic in another plastic to protect itself from the contents within that they have plastic, making this from a a, a, a TSA grade or, or CGC grade 10 to a 9.5 due to the packaging error of the company itself is, is that is that is that fair to us buyers the ones who uh, who buy comics to get them graded to to have our only way to get these kind of comics to be packaged in, in a manufactured and distributed in such a way that it inhibits the safety of the very product that it is designed to protect which is the comic book which brings us to the introduction of the person superwoman that we're about that we're reviewing in the here and now today that's that's my question to you uh manufacturers over at Todd McFarland. I understand now if it was a spawn, just believe I think it would have came with its own individual cover, backboard, everything. Like this right here would just be all the cover for this this would be the packaging for spawn. And then you'd have your your figure in, in that aspect, the retro aspect uh, being how Todd McFarland makes spawn. It's right uh it's over here, below. Yeah, so taking our super super girl out the package, we can see that they gave her the emblem on the back right here, which signifies superwoman and her status. So lifting that up, she is rather endowed. We got a little bit of stability going on, but it's all good. It's okay. Um, <laughs> all right. He's still growing. I know, for real, dude. Holy shit. Can't wait to see him walking around. He's like a savannah sized cat, but he's a junior main coon. For real, if you fucking hold about my kids, like, you know, like how they do with the dogs, the trying to get the front legs, the back legs. <laughs> he's only eight months old. Bam. Yeah. He is just a baby. Ain't no way that's a fucking half. That's like a quarter. Not for me. So anyhow, we're taking our superwoman out the package here. And uh just got her opened up just about. One little there, plastic that's keeping her restraint in this plastic prison. So I was just kind of curious, like, what would happen when there's a cosplay event, and then, like, what had happened over here recently with the people that got attacked by these aliens? That or these creatures that were eight to ten feet tall. These teenagers that had a fire machine or fire pistols at these creatures. What do they do when they're when their people's cosplaying at the cosplay and then they came? Yeah, all reptilians running around. So she does have a little bit of plastic in here, as you can see. It's actually inside of her. So I pull it out like a stitch. Uh, so she does hit a T pose. Her armor is a soft plastic. She don't have a back peg, but um, she is rather well designed. I don't know if he swivel over or not, but that'd be nice if she did have a kind of a swivel. Um, she does have, 
ankle rockers. She seems to be double jointed. So that way she can hit that pose. She does come with two additional sets of hands. Which is pretty cool because now I can go ahead and hand slap with our other super girl flat here which you can see the uh, custom hands uh, that are on her right now currently so I kind of figured uh, these two could be able to swap hands back and forth without having to go too much into any paint applications where it would when match the same kind of skin tone or uh, the colors of the paint themselves as you can see the blue and the black and the red it is just really good so like I like that kind of glove look um, she does shoot electricity out of her hands as well as learn learn magic too and then you know she meets our inversion or our injustice page puncher Super girl, which is our power girl in this world that we live in in the year 2024 5785 Where she was abandoned by the flash When he left that world he didn't like you know, it didn't disappear. You know, she ended up still surviving But she uh, she spit a loogie at General Zive and exploded his head and ripped off his arm and then punched in the key code and stopped the world ender and now our story is beginning from from that point on to where she's in a world where she's born to and she's meeting these other superheroes called uh, the Meta Pulse Squadron because the Pulse means you're alive, and Meta means you know, you know human Meta, and then the Squadron is like. The Justice League, so it's like the their version of the Justice League or my version of the Justice League, but it's just called the Metapod Squadron, featuring uh, Captain Carrot. Um, I definitely would say this is a great addition to the collection, and I did have a blast opening up both of uh, of these wonderful um, miniature people and uh, you know, I, kinda, I, I look forward to collecting the more of the DC universe as I say everybody got to start somewhere so my somewheres began with Shasha, Cal, Kali, uh, Supergirl Flash or Superwoman Flash for DC. So, as I open up a new chapter in my uh, collectability of collecting and assets and such, um, I'm putting together the storyboard and for storytelling and for visual uh, aid as for it to help with storytelling. Um, another note before I end off, keep collecting and uh, sometime this month, January, I'll finally be able to get in my Todd McFarlane three pack of uh, the three princesses, which is Cora Zorel, Cora Zorel and Raven, Donna Troy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but 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 the three Disney princesses from the Disney universe: um, Princess Belle, Fractured, Princess Mulan. And Princess Serial. As we got our Judy Hops and our Officer Nick Wilde and Officer Judy Hops and Buzz Lightyear and Captain Jack Sparrow and uh, a couple other Disney characters to be able to put together the stop motion animation. But definitely the possibility is top notch.
And I like the way that these have these right here because you can always put swords in them. But, you know, it looks like he's just like, you know, a mad dogger, which means you just grab whatever you can grab and use it. This right here is a nice soft plastic piece. Though I think if you were to keep it outside, it would uh, probably break and become brittle if it was left out overnight. And, you know, accidentally by somebody or whatever. Um, other than that, they're they're great. Get yours today, and. Uh, I'll see you when I see you.